first tattoo I ever got was my ex's initials. Good afternoon. Welcome back to another vlog. It is currently Tuesday. Every time I go to talk. I am currently still dog sitting for my friend, so I have two dogs in my apartment and i don't mind having her at all but i just feel like the dog to apartment ratio is not ideal so it just i feel smells like dog in my, i feel like it just smells like dog in my apartment and you know they go outside and they play and they get all dirty and stinky and then they roll around and my apartment is all carpet so uh yeah jump on the couch all that good stuff which like I don't care I'm not one of those like super anal people but when her mom comes to pick her up I am definitely looking forward to giving my entire apartment a nice deep clean and shampooing the carpet and the couch but she's not coming back till next week so that'll probably be in the next vlog anyway I just got my factor order delivered to my door and I am so excited Hey, quiet on set. So Factor is sponsoring a portion. Factor is sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much to them. I'm really excited. If you've never heard of Factor before, they make ready to eat meal kits that you can either pop in the microwave or the oven. And what's really amazing about them too is that they do include nutrition labels on the back. So if you are tracking your macros, your calories, they make it really easy to do that and stay on top of your goals. I've just been really busy lately. If you guys watched my last vlog, you know I got a second job recently and it's been a lot juggling living on my own, having two dogs now to take care of, a YouTube channel, a podcast, and an actual like in-person job. And I'm also not a big cooker. Like I honestly just don't love cooking so add that on top of the fact that my schedule is already so packed full nutrition tends to kind of go on the back burner which i really don't want to be the case i really want to prioritize what i'm eating more i find that lately i've just been getting takeout which is not always the best and it's also a total waste of money or i'll just get frozen meals from the grocery store but those obviously aren't the most nutritious and i'm just sick of going grocery shopping telling myself i'm gonna cook all of these meals and then i just don't have the time or energy to do it and then all of my groceries end up going bad and to waste and i hate that so let's dig in and see what they sent me i just picked like the standard regular meals they have a few different options depending on you know if you have any type of dietary restrictions like calorie smart vegetarian etc so they sent me the vegetarian tamale bowl we got ricotta meatballs with zucchini noodles and broccoli pesto salmon mm, honey mustard chicken with roasted rosemary potatoes and garlic green beans cilantro jalapeno pork chop with pepper jack, cauliflower, grits, zucchini, and squash. And buffalo chicken breast with pepper jack, cauliflower, mash, broccoli, and ranch dressing. What? And a smoothie. Oh my gosh, they sent me a whole bunch of smoothies. Oh, this is so nice. Tropical fruit smoothie, 100% plant-based. This pepper pack smoothie is loaded with coconut water, plant protein, and fiber to help you stay fueled and focused in between meals. Blended with passion fruit, mango, pear, orange, and lemon. So if you guys want to try out Factor, click the link in my description. They also gave me a discount code for you guys that'll get you 60% off your first order, which is an amazing deal. This is going to be so perfect, especially today. I'm working a closing shift at the salon. I have to go in at 3, and closing shifts are always kind of unpredictable. I go in at 3, and then then I just have to stay until the last client gets checked out and everything is, you know, cleaned up and done for the night. Some nights I don't get home till nine. It kind of fluctuates and it can make cooking dinner a little tricky. So it'll be really nice to have these and literally just throw it in the microwave for two minutes and boom, dinner is ready. That is right up my alley. I'm going to pop these in the fridge and then go finish getting ready for work. Um, and I'll see you guys in a little... And I'll see you guys in a little bit to show you what I'm wearing. Here is my outfit for the day. And ignore the smudge marks. I know my mirror always looks so dirty. I swear 
I've cleaned it, but I think I need to get actual glass cleaner because there's just these smudges that won't come off and they're not really visible in person, but when I'm looking at it through the camera, you can see it. Look at that. It's so annoying. Um, I thought I had Windex, but apparently I don't need to get some. Anyway, I have this bodysuit kind of thing. It's all one piece from Amazon. It's actually really, really good quality. It's like nice and thick and it sucks you in. It has like built-in pads, so you don't have to wear anything underneath. I'll link it in the description. I've been finding so many good pieces on Amazon, like clothing-wise. This flannel is from Kohl's, I believe. It's from the men's section. It's a little tip. Flannels can be so expensive. Most of my flannels I just will get at Walmart, Kohl's, JCPenney. Just go in the men's section. Usually... Especially stores like that, they always have sales. And then these cowboy boots I got from Altered State. I'll link them in the description if they're still available. I got them back in the springtime. And I'm so excited. I got this microphone stand and a new mic, which I don't have it on there right now. I put it, I put it over here. And I just recorded a sit down video another client story time and i was testing out the new setup because we are going to be doing video episodes for the podcast if you don't already listen to my podcast me and my best friend julia I have a girl chat podcast called girls who get it podcast where we talk about a bunch of different things from like body image to dating to stuff that's going on in our lives and just you know like if you were to sit and hang out with your girlfriends on a Friday night, like stuff you would talk about. That's basically what it is. Um, we were doing audio only for a while, and right now we're taking a little bit of a break so that we can kind of regroup and get some new ideas and just like rebrand a little bit, sort of. So we're gonna come back for season two in January with video episodes. So I need to get our YouTube channel set up um, our, we'll have videos on YouTube and on Spotify, I believe. So that's going to be really exciting, but I had to get a microphone and like the full setup for that. And I just got that stuff in the mail the other day and I wanted to test it out. So I figured I wanted to do a sit down video anyway. Let me record it in my like podcast setup. That way I can test it out, see how the audio sounds and how it all looks and um yeah so i just finished doing that and i have yet to look at the footage on my computer but from what i can tell i think it looks pretty good and sounds pretty good so that is exciting there's just something about like i love watching video podcasts and there's just something about like having the microphone stand and the actual mic to talk into like i feel so legit and professional um, it's very fun. So I don't know. I might do all my sit down videos on this channel too Using that mic setup because I just I don't know. I like it. I'm gonna head out and go to work I will see you when I get back. I Just got home from work Took the dogs out to use the bathroom. It's 8 35 I decided I'm going to have the buffalo chicken breast with pepper jack, cauliflower mash, broccoli, and ranch dressing. Sounds so good. So here's what the meal looks like. It says I just have to take the ranch dressing cup out and then just pierce the plastic a couple times and then just microwave it on high for two minutes. Oh, and actually it's Tuesday, so there's a new episode of my show. Oh my God, this smells amazing. There we go. Not the best presentation, because I just kind of dumped it on here, but oh, it smells amazing. Oh, damn it, it doesn't come out until midnight tonight. I knew it came out on Tuesdays, I didn't realize. Normally I watch it Wednesdays after work. The show that I'm talking about is Tell Me Lies on Hulu. I've also been watching The Patient, and there is a new episode of that. So I'm going to watch this. It's the one with Steve Carell, and he's a therapist, and this crazy guy basically, like, abducts him and locks him up in his basement and forces him to do therapy sessions with him. It's, it's pretty interesting. But I'm going to eat this while I watch the show, 
and then I'm gonna eventually get ready for bed. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. I just got to the salon. I'm the first person here. This is the first time this has happened. It's kind of cool because I can show you around a little bit real quick, but it's kind of creepy because it's so quiet. I'm not used to it being this quiet. And dark in here, it's like extra dark too because it's a super rainy day as you saw. And this salon, as I know a bunch of people commented in my last vlog, uh, yeah, it is a house. It used to be a house. So my boss, the owner of the salon, she grew up here. This was like her great grandparents' house, I believe. And it just got like passed down in her family and they've renovated it throughout the years. And then she ended up, I think last year, turning it into a salon. And it's pretty cool. It's on like a cute kind of private, like tucked away road. And like all her family basically like live right down the street, which is cute. So sometimes they'll just like walk down here and pop in and like get a service done or just say hi or whatever. And it's really cute because it has that like cozy, comfortable, welcoming family vibe because you literally are walking into someone's house. But she does a really good job of keeping it still feeling like kind of upscale and like a really nice luxury atmosphere luxurious atmosphere i should say it's super cute here and they have like a huge kitchen upstairs which i'll show you with tons of different drink options and snacks and stuff so every guest that comes in you know we offer them snacks beverages etc i will give you a little bit of a quick tour i'm sure some of the other girls are going to be getting here pretty soon but Right now, I showed you a little bit in my last vlog, but right now I am downstairs in the basement, which is where the laundry is. So I'm gonna get that going because uh, it kind of got a little bit backed up last night. So gonna get caught up on that. Yeah, this is the entrance, the parking lot's over there. And there's this cute little sitting area and the pool, which obviously it's raining, so everything is still covered, but clients aren't allowed to actually swim and go in the pool, but you know, they're allowed to lounge outside and sit by the edge, put their feet in, that kind of thing. But isn't it so, beautiful and there's like a huge yard back there i haven't really explored much of the property outside in the back but it's just so gorgeous here and then she has her office through there and then it's connected to like the garage it's huge here it's like endless i feel like <laughs> this is the front entrance the, like the main entrance to the salon this is a little foyer area this rug is from amazon i ordered it it's so cute and i'm actually getting the exact same one for my apartment because i love it so much here um and yeah it's super cute in here actually i should turn this light on i guess because it's so dark today and then in here is the hair room their little break area and all their colors where they mix everything And then out here, she has like a little boutique kind of area. This obviously is the kitchen too. So she has a bunch of different products for sale. And we have the fridge just stocked with a bunch of drinks. We have the coffee bar, station, tea, all that good stuff in here. And then this is the bathroom. Even the bathrooms are super 
cute and well decorated. I love it. And then it leads to the shampoo room. And then through here is the hair room. How cute is this with all the pumpkins? But yeah, hair room and the makeup station. If you guys remember the first time I came here when I got my hair done, I was at that station in the corner. And now I work here. <laughs> and then this is technically like the front door to the house, but it was still a house. Um, I love this wallpaper. It's so cute. So there's another like foyer area. And then over here is the nail room. You loop back through here it leads you back to the kitchen and on this side is the waiting room area front desk where i'm usually stationed and then back to the kitchen and she has these custom robes for all the hair clients with the salon's name on it which is so cute and all of her retail hair products and then down here, this is the spa portion of the salon. So there's another bathroom here. So cute. I love those lights with the mirror and the black wall. So cute. And then in here, this is what they call the relaxation room, which is basically just like the waiting room for the spa services super cute and you can see a view of the pool from in here and then back here is the massage room and then back here we have the facial room there's a bathroom off of this room too but no one really, I mean, the esthetician uses it, but clients don't ever come back here, which actually, I never really fully came in here. Oh, there's like a full shower. This is a nice shower. Wow. I've like peeked into this bathroom before, but I never actually like fully came in it. Nice. I can only imagine. This was probably so nice as a house. Ugh. And then in here, this is where they do spray tans. And then there's a second esthetician room, which there is not a second esthetician here yet, but we just finished getting this room set up so that we can hopefully hire another person. And how cute is this? It's from Wayfair. Um, I had found it and ordered it. And this is actually the first time I'm like checking it out in person, it looks so cute. Those baskets, they're also from Wayfair. So cute. I think that's the same mirror I have in my bedroom at home. <laughs> and then down there is the basement where we were before. So I'm gonna make myself a coffee actually because I am like barely awake. And then I'm gonna get started with my duties for the morning. Um, it's 8.13. The first clients are supposed to be here at nine. I think that's when the first appointments are at today. Um, so I got a little bit of time. I usually get here at eight. The salon technically opens at nine. So that way it gives me time to like get everything set up and ready. I was so tired this morning. And I feel like that's always how it goes. Like getting out of bed is so hard, but then once I'm here, I'm like, all right, I'm ready. Let's have a good day. Good morning. It's currently 7.30, almost 7.30 in the morning. I am working at the salon again this morning. Just touching up my hair. Um, when I got home from work, I came home and I just felt so disgusting like i don't know my hair was just feeling greasy and messy so i showered washed my hair and i blew it out last night before bed and then 
I threw a couple waves in it really quick this morning and then I was just using the flat iron to smooth the top because it was looking kind of frizzy and crazy. Um, and I did a little bit of light makeup. I will show you my outfit really quick. I really have to go. Yeah, I'm over here just like casually vlogging, but uh, I need to leave in like two minutes. Here's my outfit. I'm just wearing like this little plain black slip dress and then I threw this shacket on top. This is from H&M, I believe, and then my cowboy boots that I wore earlier in the week. We actually have a wedding party coming to the salon this morning. The salon that I work at does weddings a lot, like every single Saturday and a lot of Fridays. They are just completely booked up doing weddings, but a lot of the times they do them on site wherever the wedding is at or, you know, wherever they are getting ready. Um, but this one is actually coming into the salon, so I will get to be there for that and just make sure everything is running smoothly, get everyone checked out as they're finished. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make myself a coffee to go and head out. It's a few hours later, I am home now. I've actually been home for about an hour. I had some lunch, I was responding to some emails took the dogs out, and now I still have a little bit of computer work to do. I have to edit this vlog, actually. Even though I'm not 100% done with my work, technically, for the week, I am gonna make myself a little drink and relax and celebrate the fact that it's Friday. Last weekend, I actually went out with one of my coworkers and I got this frozen mudslide type of drink, and it was so good and I've been thinking about it ever since so I wanted to attempt to make my own at home so I'm gonna basically do a frozen espresso martini minus the espresso because I don't really feel like making espresso right now and I've had more than enough coffee today so I'm just gonna skip that so we have plain vodka we have coffee liqueur or you could do Kahlua but any generic coffee liqueur basically tastes the same and then some kind of Irish cream or Bailey's I always get like the non name brand because it literally is the same thing it tastes the same uh, but it's way cheaper and I'm just gonna mix it all up in my Nutribullet I'm just gonna do a shot of each ingredient and I figure because I'm adding ice that will kind of dilute it a little bit anyway I'm just gonna add a bunch of ice and blend it up. Cheers. Mm. So good. It's basically just like the drink I had last weekend. I am going to wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending the work week with me. I'm gonna go edit this now while I enjoy my drink. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Factor. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.